Well, hello, apa kabar semuanya? What's up everyone? My name is Rizky and welcome to my channel. And welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West. Sekian lama udah gua tinggalkan game ini karena banyak game-game lain yang masuk ke channel gue dan gua harus mainkan. So, ya, yeah, continue aja kita lihat game-nya. Uh, sorry banget jika gue jarang upload Horizon jika ada yang nungguin Horizon Forbidden West Gue mohon maaf Banyak banget Ada Tales of Rise Dan gue juga mainin Attack of Titan Atau Grand Turismo Grinding dan Turismo Ada Ghost Recon Breakpoint And many many thing many There are some many games I should to play and finish it Exactly at the time At the same time, I got a lot of game. I got a lot of game. I got a, I got a busy. I got a work. I got a, something to do. And now I got a, I got a face. Uh, ah, bahasa Indonesia. Lagi puasa dan lemas gitu loh. Jadi ya agak kurang gitu. Gue mau mau banyak omong. Gue mau main yang enjoy enjoy aja. Horizon emang enjoy, cuman agak berat juga gitu. Dan ya yeah, why not? We, I have to change the game somehow in the future I'm I got another chance to play a uh, VR games and recording some VR game I I don't know I was exactly I don't know okay so kita mulai ini chat mission nih I'm Ikuta you're Aloy right yeah I heard how you drove Regala from the cool route I thought maybe you could help me And the village, and the forest to the west. Our people have always found good salvage from shell walkers and clamor jaw piles, but now, killer machines stalk the area. Claw striders, for certain. And I've heard rumors of something worse. In years past, I would have asked Marshal Chikata to to help me clear out the threat, but he was killed at Baron Light. Now I'm alone, and there aren't enough seasoned soldiers here to help. What do you say? You up for a hunt? I just might be. <laughs> Strange. Chikata used to use those same words in the same way. A good omen, I suppose. All right, meet me at the edge of the forest west of here. We'll hunt together. I'll be glad for the company. Ooh. What the? Okay. It's gonna be hard. Okay, ah, uh, gua dah terlalu jauh sih dari main mission dan lain-lain. Oh, tempat ini. Ya, yeah, nembus sembunyi tuh lihat. Aduh. Wah susah sini. Ah, 
Ah né? Wow. Ah, nyang. Alanya, ah game of the year, game of the year, nyangkut coy, kan bodoh ya, nyangkut di mayat, mayat robot, temannya sendiri, gua nggak bisa lompat, Allah Tuhan ku, gila nggak tuh. Ya, forbidden ya, horizon ya. Tolong diubah gitu loh. Lebih seamless, kalau ada mayat, ada ada gumpalan atau apapun, lu bisa parkur ya. Jangan hanya lompat, lompat jaraknya hanya satu senti gitu loh. Kayak orang manusia juga bisa lompat setinggi itu lebih. Maksudnya alo dong, alo kan liar ya, maksudnya lebih pengalaman lebih tahu mengenai hal ini hal itu seharusnya ya nggak perlu dibikin realistik sampai Oh kan manusia nggak bisa lompat segini nggak harus itu juga gitu loh kita tuh main game buat fun fantasi gitu kan sci-fi fantasi nggak ada yang namanya lu Tarzan ya Gak bisa lompat tinggi Gitu loh Gak usah dibikin realistik tapi goblok gitu loh Ini game loh Game itu terserah orang mau berimajinasinya Suka hati mau dia lompatnya tinggi bisa kan maksudnya Tinggal lo implementasikan aja gitu loh gue cuman kayak gitu doang kekurangannya dari game ini gue tuh maunya kayak seamless banget gerakannya gitu loh ini kurang gak ada perubahan gitu dari yang sebelumnya ntar gue ditanya ah lu apa uh, bukan pecinta game ini lalalala bacot kau Ya, gue bingung aja gitu. Gue sih nggak masalah ya maksudnya lo mau ini apa? Gue tadi gue mau lompat aja tinggi gitu nggak bisa, gue blok memang. Aloy, aloy. Ini sih gue harusnya 
Eh, Forest ujung dari Eh. Glad you made it. The place where my people seek salvage is close. As are the hostile machines. Follow if you will. Lead the way. Wah, jalan jalannya pelan banget tuh. I've hunted this forest since I was a boy. And when the clans were at war, Shikata and I helped hold it from the lowlanders. It was one of the few battles Hikaru ever lost. Didn't you say Shikata was a marshal? Yes. Later, he came to respect Hikaru's dream for United Tribe and volunteered for the very first cool route. I was melancholy when he left the clan to serve the chief. But he came back often. I was always glad when he did. There, the machines. I've heard of this. Must be a red eye watcher. So I'll follow your lead. But be careful. Wow. Ah, ganggu doang. Dulu, 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 dulu. Ini yang sensor-sensor ini. Uh, watcher ini ganggu. Wow, ya, 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 oke. Astaga
Now that was a hunt. small fight. You fought well. Better than any marshal. Better than Shikata, even. You two. You were more than friends. Yes. Whenever he left on a mission, <clears throat> I felt an ache in my chest. I know he's gone forever. He meant a lot to you. I'm so sorry, Ikota. Don't be. You did a good thing for the village and gave a lonely old soldier some solace. Here, take this. You deserve it. You're young and strong with many victories ahead. But perhaps someday you could come back if you're up for another hunt. I just might be. Gue kira gue udah kelar loh, tinggal main main quest nya doang. Ya, double. Karo's <coughs> champion. <coughs> Somewhat. Ay, lama banget. you're talking about some of regala's supporters were hunted down near here most fought to the death but one group had other ideas they escaped pursuit and raided tides reach they were last seen out to sea to the west the raiders escaped out to sea we think that's why they raided the settlement they built a, a flat boat bits of wood tied together a uh, raft i wouldn't want to go to sea on one but it seems that was the raiders' plan. Slaughter our sleeping guards, steal supplies, and sail straight west. Are you worried they might come back? 
The supplies they stole won't last forever, and they were prepared to gut our guards to get them. People here want justice. That won't happen until those fugitives are found. If the leaders went out to sea, I'm not sure how I could follow them. I guess they got away. For now. Oh, gue jadi nggak bisa ya. Errornya tahan, benar. Nice. Itu dah. Oke. Ah, siap stand. Poseidon dulu baru Demeter kayaknya. Level dua dua baru level dua empat. Oke. Ah, Ha, ada anime unyu. Aku mau nonton dah. Ya. Ini anime. Tepok. Wah, cerdik apa apa lo? Let's go. Ada apa ni? Ya, ya. Oh. Kui nggak sama Final Fantasy tu juri mac tu jadi. Mencari ruin. Cari ruin. Mereka nyerang gue.
broken back. Pouring out of that building. Poseidon's doing? I better check it out. Someone's been through here. Oh. There's something behind that tarp. I was out of... I was so close. Oh, to drowning, maybe. Not, not to the embers. M Moreland, it's over. Well, not for me, it's not. And you're going to die alone because we're not sticking around to fish out the corpse. We're through. And so the visionary's fate hung in the balance. Would he choose life or succumb to deadly delusion? <clears throat> Hello. So. There's an ancient city under the sand, but it's flooded. Suddenly, a Nora spear maiden appeared. Yeah, okay. Um. Well, you're not typical Delvers. That's for sure. What's this? Uh, I, I call it a diving bubble. This is the Mark One. The Mark II was better, but uh, it got stuck halfway down. Air tube snagged. You went down in that. Yeah, I hardly expect a lay person to understand. Because that's pretty smart. Uh, I'm sorry. May I remind you, you got stuck inside and nearly drowned. It'd have to be portable, though. Mm, machine kneecap, maybe? Well, you'd need a filter. Synthetic membrane would do it. With a hose to a Compressed, compressed air, air capsule, cuts. hammer, and tongs. What is this? What is happening here? What? Get over here. She's a stranger. You got a name? Aloy. Moreland. Not a stranger anymore. You're a damn fool. Come on. I got the original schematics over here. Oh, um... <sighs> well, hold on. Just a couple of questions first. Fair enough. Partner? Partner? Don't mind him. What's so important down there that you'd risk your life? Uh, uh well... <clears throat> uh. Moreland, I'm not interested in salvage, okay? Whatever you find below is yours. Well, all right. Then what if I told you we were delving for the most spectacular treasures ever scribed by man or maid? I'd say get to the point. No nonsense. I like it. Behold, an ember. Looks like a piece of junk. Well, now, yes, but, but, but with the 
proper spark. These magnificent creations of the old ones paint mesmerizing pictures in the air, and the ruins below us are full of them. A feast for the eyes beyond description. This is my old Gramps promised me. How did your grandfather discover these embers? He was here. Forty odd years ago. He, he was one of the first to lead a delving party into the west. He discovered the ancient city around us, plumbed the depths of this very structure. He found the hollow underneath and the glowing embers all about. Took as many as he could and brought them home. He always wanted to come back and get more, but, well, never scraped up the shards. What he really wanted to do was use the embers to put on a show, one unlike the world has ever seen. Sounds like quite a guy. He was a true delver and a true showman. And I miss him. But I will do him proud. I will gather the embers and put on a spectacle that would have amazed even him. With your help, of course. So these embers project images? Paintings of light. It's amazing stuff. This one showed the most beautiful woman you've ever seen, beckoning all to a buffet of lobster and succulent beefs. <laughs> I must have watched it about a hundred times as a child in my old Gramps workshop. What happened to it? Over time, they die out. I cried the day that this one's light faltered. But there are many more below. As you'll see, if you get down there like I did and my old gramps before me. So what exactly happened down there? It was a delve like no other. A chance to follow in my old gramps' footsteps. Beneath this structure here is an enormous hollow, a, a dome protected from the sands. We built this elevator here to ensure easy egress and exit. It's quite a contraption, actually, and not so easy that... Uh, right. Again. What happened? At the bottom, we beheld the treasure my Gramps first discovered. Painted images in the air of every description. Dancing women. Games and coins and promises of jackpots. I don't know what that is, but it's got to be good. But then, uh. something went wrong. The images turned nautical. Waves went through them, even fish. It's like a strange underwater dream. Poseidon's dream. Yes. Well, suddenly there was this terrible rushing sound, and then an explosion of water erupted from the floor. So water just shot up from the floor and filled the place up? It was a raging flood unlike anything I've seen. We ran like forge fire and barely made it up the elevator as a wave just crashed beneath us. Shaken, but not stirred, I, I, I built the diving bubbles mark one and mark two. I tried the descent in each, but I nearly drowned both times. Abbot Dunn's beside himself. He thinks I'm insane, but I can't give up now. I, I, I've, just, I've come too far, and the embers are just barely within my reach. Well, maybe I can help. Yeah, maybe you can. You guys don't seem like average delvers. We're not really delvers at all. We're, we're showmen. Like performers? You're Nora, and thus unfamiliar with the arts. We stage spectacles all around the claim. Stemmer tells stories, which I augment with all manner of sounds and fireworks, and Abaddon, he, well, Complains? He handles the money, 
which amounts to about the same thing. When we delve, it's to find gear for my theatrics. Which makes this delve the most important one of all. How deep is it? Can't I just swim down? Only if you have gills. You can stack 50 kegs in that shaft. Leave it to the Osserum to measure something in kegs. Talking liquid depths. I'd say it's apt. After not, sounds too deep to hold my breath. Hence, our new invention. I'd better get after those parts. There's a fully intact compressed air capsule in the Mark II, but like I said, it's stuck in the shaft. If you made it back up alive, I should be able to swim down that far. All right. As for the other parts, Stemmer Scout at a herd due south of here that should have what we need. I'm on it. Great. I'll come back when you get the gear. Good hunting. <laughs> get a, oh, a guest list of 50. <laughs> so we need at least three dozen kegs. <laughs> Brown ale, maybe. Uh, no, no, for him, scrapper side. But... Are you planning a party? Budgeting for Moreland's funeral, thanks to you. I was this close. <sighs> we were going to move on. Leave all this nonsense behind, and you come along and you spark your wet noodle idea. It's going to work. I've heard that before. I'm always willing to engage in some commerce. Oh, you are done. You. So, uh, how does someone like you end up working for someone like Moreland? I work with Moreland. We got three equal claims in this venture. I saw one of his early shows. Back when it was... It was just him and his inventions. Works of flame, lights, and shadows, all kinds of gizmos. Never seen the like. But the man is all spectacle. No sense. Bleeds shards like, like, you get the idea. Without me to handle the finances, his dreams would be sunk. More sunk. Wish we were back in the claim. Plenty of normal shows to do without the, the salvage from this blasted place. And yet, you're here, in the middle of the desert, delving for his dream. It was a good one. But sometimes, a dream has to die. This dream of Moreland's... Is going to get him killed. Let's say it doesn't. What happens after he gets the salvage down there? Then we put on the greatest show the world's ever seen. We'll have, we'll have special seating, premium ale, the works. Moreland will do his his light spectacle thing. Uh, Stemmer will get their eyes a sparkling with his tails, and I'll be selling tickets. <laughs> it's a nice thought, anyway. Moreland mentioned you were showman. What? An Osram 
can't be anything other than a, a, a Delver tinker or drunkard. <laughs> okay, sure, we are Delvers too, but that is not our main source of income. Mostly, we go town to town, putting on shows. These shows, what are they? What happens at them? Tales and spectacle. Uh, um, Moreland's got the technical know-how. Builds uh, all manner of inventions, whirly gigs of, of light and sound, cannons that, that, that shoot fire and showers of sparks and stemmer. Keeps them enthralled. Tales of adventure in the smoothest baritone. Wow, what are you? Yeah, that. And you? Me. Who do you think handles the financials for the whole blasted thing? <laughs> those two, eh, those two might have the, the sparks, but do you think they know their way around shards? <laughs> do they? No, they don't. So Moreland was down in this ancient city, and... The three of us went down below. You? I can delve, too. Right. And, uh, then what happened? What do you think? Water rushed in, we ran. Then Moreland built that blasted thing. He nearly got himself drowned. Twice. He... You want the finer details of his stupidity? You go ask him. I'll leave you alone. Do us a favor. Leave us all alone. The stout hearted huntress approached. Her appearance is sudden as a spark of destiny. And the delve was at its direst. That's, uh, quite the introduction. Hmm. Maybe, uh, maybe a little internal rhyme instead. A maiden arose from the very sands that bore our woes. Nah, too trite. What is it with you and all the uh, words? That's what I do. The stalwart storyteller gazed upon the maiden with well-earned pride in his life's work. Stemmer Wordsmith, at your service. How did you end up following Moreland out here? Bright-eyed Moreland held his dreams aloft like a burning candle. And where that light went, the hearts of men were sure to follow. So you admire him? Admiration is but a gentle fire. It's the spark that delvers and tinkers and rogues alike are sure to warm to. Okay, guess that answers something. Your friend over there doesn't like me too much. The loud one. The old bee counter has the personality of a moss-eaten rock. <laughs> but oh, what a wicked mind for money. And a memory as long as life, or even the smallest debt. Uh, by that, he means he owes me shards. 147, to be exact. But as sharp as he was in things pecuniary, he had a dull forgetfulness for how many times a certain wordsmith saved his hoary hide. 147! 147. What exactly does a wordsmith do? Uh, like a tinker at the forge. A wordsmith hammers out words to entrance all who hear them. The young, the old, and frequently the inebriated. I didn't take the Osram for storytellers. Uh, they say the only thing makes a cold brew go down easier is a tale of times gone by. But it's always best to hit the road before the keg runs dry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, why? Why is that? <laughs> oh, well, the Osram can get mighty agitated if they run out of drink or if they don't like your story. 
So you're saying being a wordsmith can be dangerous? Oh, yeah. Story goes the wrong way, Osirum will throw stuff at you. What, like fruit? More like chairs or grenades. But the veteran wordsmith persevered through it all. Hammer in hand, ready to give as good as he got. How do you think we got here all the way from the claim anyway, past those blasted machines? It wasn't by talking. Got to go see someone about an underwater city. And lo, the huntress went forth. Aloy. According to Moreland, the village should be south of here. Shield wings holding up. There's a Cyclops drone monitoring this area. I need to grab its data. Well, this is where Moreland said the hood would be. They must have moved on. I need to pick up their trail. Better look for tracks. Should lead me to the herd. the herd. I should have the parts I need. Machines. Better deal with them first. The storm's whipped up a sand spiral. Great. Okay, got them all. Where did the herd go?
What the fuck man, tornado Ntar lah gue receive-receive kok Wiral Talk about who no 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 We don't talk about who no Very well made in We don't talk about who no <clears throat> I thought we were finally going to get away from this place. Well, we don't talk about Bruno. This is my wedding. This is my wedding. Look at the vine in the sky. Good thing that Aloy showed up. We'll see. The longer they're sojourned in the desert, the crustier...
Shard Counter's mood became. What can I do for you, partner? I need to get going. Well then, I won't... Air capsule. Uh, we'll find a way to get the to embers. I know we will. Better get back to Moreland. Optimism! It's great. Right up until the point you stumble into a machine's jaws. Pessimism. It may save your hide, but it'll never save your spirit. Once again, the shard counter found he had lost the war of words. I'll stuff a cog in it, Stemmer. Need something else, friend? I've got everything I need to build the, uh... The incredible diving mask. I think diving mask is enough. I won't quibble. The workbench is all yours. I can't swim now! Yeah. Now this... This is happening... Oh, diving man. Hey. Whoa. There's a marvel. Avenger? If it works, you'll let me try it? I want to get down there and get those embers. Assuming I don't drown. So what are you really looking for down there? It's hard to explain. Something that caused a malfunction in the apparatus that controls the old city. I think it started the flood. Well, I, I thought we started the flood. Like we sprung a trap. I don't know how we were detected. Like I said, the dancing lights around us changed, turned to sea life. There was this flash of red and the roar of water surging in. Wait, a flash of red? A red light from a spot near the grate on the floor where the water burst through. It was like a beacon. Or a warning. Thanks. That might help. I hope it does. And good luck down there. Okay. Time to see if this thing works. Oh, so good. I can actually breathe down here. Wow. Wait, wait. Yes, you know. Oh, God. That was. Hello, hello. Ah, come on, let's go. Damn, that was good. Okay, um.
the mask seems to be holding up. I've never been able to swim this deep before. Okay, yeah, bagus buat tuh lagi. Wow. Wow. Dragon. Wow. Damn. Oh, I'm going to 
drainage control is offline. To execute an emergency purge, manual reset of primary and secondary pump nodes is required. The purge can then be triggered at the pump maintenance station. If I do this purge and drain all the water, I can fight that big machine on dry ground. Looks like I have to reset a couple of pump nodes first. According to the map, there should be an access point for the first node south of here. I can't reach the ledge from here. Maybe there's something I can climb to get out. Swim back up and find the access point for the second node. the map, the second node should be on the other side of the door. bisa berenang loh watcher
<tuh> mereka yang di atas sudah khawatir itu Taking care of both nodes. Now I just need to activate the emergency purge at the maintenance station. According to the map, the maintenance station should be at the south end of the dome. be the maintenance station. Now what do do? Looks like part of this building collapsed. There might be a way in. I think I'm in the maintenance station now. I just gotta find a console to activate the emergency purge. Did it? <laughs> okay. Wow. Now I can deal with that machine guarding the door on the other end of the dome. And once I get past it, I can get to what's waiting on the other side of the door.
Cakep sih Wow Purge left these machines behind I could sneak by them They were the big one first Thank you. Oh iya Bakal lawan yang gede itu lupa gue Scrappy bear. 
band of adventurers beheld the beast, they knew what they had to do. What? Are you crazy? Hush now. She saved our death. Okay, then. Stay up here and start firing when I engage. Ya gue udah pernah lawan ini deh Stick with the seat. Come on, gentlemen, get Hey, bang. Yeah. You guys all right? More than all right. This you we did it. <laughs> all the embers we could ever want and it's all thanks to you. Very uh heartwarming. But maybe we can just, you know, grab what we came here for and get out before any more of those things decide to show up. Now, now, shard counter. Nothing wrong with a little revelry. Though we should probably let our flame-haired friend get going. I believe she has business down here, does she not? Right, of course. You need any help? I can handle it from here. Very well. Well, we'll start taking some of the embers upstairs. Call her if you need us. Thanks. Gampang juga lawan ini. Hah. Hmm. Kalau gua terlalu, udah terlalu op ya. Eh. The 
first of many marvels. And he carried the precious treasure. Going down. Poseidon <laughs> should be somewhere beyond this door. Time to bring it home. should be hiding in some kind of processor. I need to find a console to gain access to it. There. I should be able to use that console. I'm here to bring you home, Poseidon. Elizabeth Sobek, Alpha Prime. Master Override activated. Restoring the sign and subordinate function to original code. Okay. Gotta bring this back to Gaia. Poseidon triggered a restart of the city's power system. Moron and crew must have headed back up top. With all the embers they could carry at that time. Wow. Book kill. Las Vegas, bro. Wow. Mana soundtracknya bang? Bis lagi. built this before the place flooded. Might still work. Nice not to have to climb back up. Whatever she did, it must have powered up the whole city. 
<laughs> oh. oh, show my old gramps always wanted. There's another. His dream realized. His old gramps legacy ensured. Our hero beheld the sea of desert lights and wept at his good fortune. When I saw the embers as a child, I never dreamed they could be like this. Thank you, Aloy. Well, did you find what you were looking for? I did. And now I have to move on. Oh. Oh. Come back when you can. I got big plans for this place. I thought you wanted to put on shows with the Embers back in the clan. Oh, no. <laughs> this is the show. Oh, can you imagine? Folks from all over the land coming to take it all in. Plus, some food and a nice place to stay. Not to mention a variety of entertainment venues. Uh, don't forget. Games of chance. Plenty of shards to be had there for certain. <laughs> A new dream, huh? I am. Um, I hope you make it happen. Goodbye, gentlemen. This delve is a story for the ages. All thanks to you. If Moreland and crew is going to stay, maybe I should come back and check on them later. For now, I need to get Poseidon back to Gaia. But with all the ruins here, I might want to look around before I head back. And with my new diving mask, I can swim as deep as I need to. Like at those deep water sites I found earlier. Yeah, Oh! Nih 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 di sini nih. Hah. Nih 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 yang nih nih nih. Yap 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 yap. Oke balik. So ini habis itu gua akan mainin shot mission yang terlewatkan gitu. Ah gila bener sih gamenya bagus. Bagus pap. Bagus guys bagus. Pick bagus. Gila gila. Gue kalau udah apa? Udah kayak terlalu menikmati cerita udah tuh. Apa itu uh, komentar game? Enggak ada, gue langsung enjoy aja udah. Kayak living on your side gitu, kayak living on yourself. Gue enggak peduli dengan orang lain gitu kayak what the hell? What the hell happening? I don't care. Okay. Poseidon. Aloy, can you come downstairs? Beta has something you need to hear. Okay. I'll be right down. Got it. Hey, Gaia. Me again. Welcome back, Aloy. Where shall we resume?
When I dove down into Vegas, I found data about the man who built the dome over the city, Stanley Chen. It turns out he was a member of Far Zenith. But if he loved Vegas so much, why did he abandon it? Why not try to save it? The Zeniths at their core have proven to be exceptional survivalists. Faced with overwhelming odds of extinction, they chose to flee. Even still, what he achieved... Water to the wasteland, an entire city brought back to life. A thousand years later, the whole place was still on standby, just... waiting for someone to come along and wake it up. So there's a few people here now, and they're... learning. All about you, the ancient world. Almost like what was supposed to happen before Apollo was purged. Yes. While the loss of the Apollo database was catastrophic, there is still much that can be gleaned from the data you have uncovered. For instance, Varl has been reviewing the last recorded entries from those who perished during the Pharaoh Plague. Hearing their hopes and fears made him quite somber. Anything I should be worried about? I do not believe so. I have elected not to intervene, to allow him to process this on his own terms. I should be going. Goodbye, Aloy. Hi! <laughs> Happy birthday, Isaac! Daddy sure does love his little big man. She found that recording from the data on your focus. She's been watching it a lot. I think it helps calm her. You know, I used to watch this a lot too. Whenever I wanted to take my mind off things. Daddy sure does love his little big... But there's something you need to tell me? While you were gone, I came down here to check on her. Then we started talking. Right, Beta? She's been thinking about how to capture Hephaestus. They're studying the data Gaia gave her. But we started talking about some other stuff. You know, just getting to know each other, right? And then she told me that one of the Zeniths might be different from the others. Tilda, you saw her at the Hades Proving Lab. Go on. On the way to Earth, the Zeniths never showed their faces. My servitor caretaker referred to them as my benefactors and promised I'd meet them someday when I had learned enough. And then, one day, a data channel opened in my training interface. In it, Tilda was waiting for me. In a virtual replica of a house on a cliff overlooking the ocean. It was beautiful. She showed me paintings, books, media files. We met there in secret many times. But a few months later, stopped. Can you tell us why, Beta? I found some data about Tilda at the Hades Proving Lab. I think she was the liaison between Far Zenith and Zero Dawn. She knew Elizabeth Sobek, that's for sure. Maybe that's why she reached out to you? What else can you tell us about Tilda? She... liked to talk about her paintings. What about herself? Did she ever talk about her life on Earth? How she joined the Zeniths? Something like that? She never said much about herself, and she hated it when I asked too many questions. But I think, back on Earth... 
she was an expert programmer, given that she built a data channel the other Zenus couldn't detect. Is there anything else about her that we might be able to use to our advantage? She was the first real person who ever bothered to speak to me. I wasn't really assessing her for strengths and weaknesses. You said that Tilda reached out to you using a data channel? It appeared in my training interface as another assignment. When I opened it, there were a series of intermittent glitches. I realized they formed a transpositional cipher. Instructions on how to open up a new virtual space. When I entered it, my training interface disappeared. Instead of the usual holographic teachers and files, I was in a perfect recreation of her home. And you're sure the other Zenith never knew about it? To them, it looked like I was still in training, toiling away, alone. So this secret virtual space looked like a house with an ocean view? I could see white caps and hear waves crashing on rocks below. And there were gulls crying outside. Inside, Tilda had frames that showed off her favorite paintings, changing at intervals to match the light. There was an armchair she liked. She'd sit there and gaze outside while I looked through her things. We spent hours in that house. I never wanted to leave. You said Tilda showed you paintings and let you access media files? Every time we met, she showed me a new painting. I, I think she was Dutch. All of her favorite pieces were from their golden age in the 1600s. Portraits, allegories, ships at sea. She had so many. Did it interest you? I liked her media portal. It had so much more than my training interface. Clips, shows, hollows. My favorite was this one called Second Time Around, about a family whose kid comes back after disappearing during the hot zone crisis. Right, but did this portal have anything about the Zeniths themselves? Anything we could use? No. Any information about them was redacted. So Tilda set up a secret virtual space where she could talk to you, a house on a cliff. Then later, she cut you off. But other than the fact that Tilda knew Elizabeth, you don't know why she did those things? I don't! Okay? I thought of every possible reason that would make her leave, but whatever I did wrong, I don't know what it is. When I finally met the others, she ignored me. I acted like the data channel never existed. None of this even matters. Tilda's the same as the others. It won't help us defeat them. Okay. Let's leave it at that, then. What's wrong? I'm trying, Varl. But she is <coughs> tough to take. I'm out there in the wilds, risking my life every day, and all she can do is hide in there and tell us how hopeless it all is. I'm sorry, she's had a rough time, but she is really not helping right now. Hmm. You always seem to be on top of everything, so I sometimes forget about what you've been through. I mean... It wasn't that long ago you were so banged up you couldn't even walk. About that. When I pulled you out of the water back near the proving lab, you were muttering Rost's name. You never talk about him. But he raised you. Trained you. You must miss him a lot. Of course I do. But I don't have time to think about that now. I need to get back out there. Okay. I'll keep working with Beta. Gaia says she knows a lot about Zero Dawn. And maybe she just needs some time to adjust, and then she can help us with Hephaestus. Sure. But I won't hold my breath.
uh, oke okay. mungkin itu aja yang bisa gue sampaikan guys atau gue record hampir dua jam ya yep, hampir dua jam so anyway jika kalian suka dengan komentar sekali ya jika suka dengan video gue kali ini tolong komentar di bawah dan jangan lupa untuk like and subscribe and comment dan itu dia video gue uh, dari Horizon Forbidden West agak panjang sorry banget so anyway thank you for watching I hope you are enjoy my video and we will see you in the next video my name is Fisky and say goodbye I do my friend bye bye jangan mati